I'm Katrina Cotton for Invest in Pitch Media. Thanks for joining us today. Q Battery Metals, a mineral exploration company focused on exploration and development of battery, base, and precious metals, has provided an exploration update on its Lacorne South and Pontax projects, both located in Quebec. The company's Lacorn South Lithium Project, located north of Valdor, covers 10 kilometers of the Lacorn Batholith. At least 14 lithium projects are associated with the margins of the Lacorn Batholith, within 20 kilometers of the company's Lacorn South project, including Sayona Mining's North American Lithium Mine, a joint venture with Piedmont Lithium, which is just 11 kilometers northwest of Q Battery's Lacorn South project. The Q Battery Metals geological team completed sampling of pegmatite outcrops discovered earlier this year. The geologic team completed sampling program of outcrops containing pegmatitic material and samples were submitted directly to ALS Laboratory in North Vancouver, BC. In total, seven rock samples were submitted to ALS from the June and September sampling programs. The June sampling included a combination of rock chip and grab samples, including float blocks. The September sampling included channel saw sampling along with rock outcrop chip sampling. Six of the samples were taken from outcrops or boulders of pegmatitic material, and one sample, WP69, was taken from volcanic outcrop with significant pyrite and pyrotite mineralization. Rock samples were generally obtained using a hammer and chisel, although the team used a diamond-bladed rock saw in order to cut a greater volume of material from pegmatite outcrops that were not conducive to standard rock hammer and chisel sampling, such as sample WP68, which was cut from the vein exposure. All samples were submitted to ALS either in North Vancouver or Valdor. The best lithium value of 622 parts per million was obtained from blocks of rock found at surface on the margin of a ridge of outcrop. Two samples were taken from these blocks, both of which returned elevated lithium, along with cesium, aluminum and beryllium, all indicators for pegmatite that can potentially be lithium bearing. The float blocks are interpreted as having been derived from a nearby source. As part of the recent August 2023 reconnaissance, the geologic team undertook a property-wide tour of the Lacorn South property lithium target area, which is well crossed by good condition resource roads. The property has a significant cover of sand, silt and gravel deposited during the last period of glaciation. The company is planning to extend ground geophysical surveys in order to identify potential pegmatite beneath the sediment cover and has contacted TMC Geophysics to complete 24 kilometers of induced polarization survey over a large part of the Lacorn South property. The survey is designed to reveal resistive targets that can be tested for pegmatite and conducive bodies that can be tested for potential massive sulfide deposition. Both target types are evident from previous work completed on the property. The ground surveys, both IP chargeability and resistivity, will add to the geophysical data obtained from the previously completed drone-supported magnetics and ground TDEM surveys to provide more defined targets for eventual diamond drilling. The company's recently acquired Pontax Lithium project, which covers 5,376 hectares, is strategically positioned within the James Bay region of Quebec. It is surrounded by other significant lithium projects, including Patriot Battery Metals, Pontax Project, Brunswick Exploration, Stria Lithium's properties, and Lift Power's large land package, including the Moyen Project. Although the claims have only had limited prior exploration, the Quebec CGOME database indicates that 63 sediment samples were obtained within or adjacent to the company's Pontax property during historic work programs between 1974 and 2016. The database provided results for up to 91 parameters, which the company data filtered for pegmatite indicator minerals, including lithium, cesium, tantalum, rubidium, niobium, tin, and boron, which are considered pathfinder elements that can form halos related to the presence of LCT pegmatites. 
Several elevated results for Pathfinder elements were located within or immediately adjacent to the Cube Battery Metals claims. The company intends to complete an initial prospecting program targeting potential pegmatite bodies once ground conditions allow access in the spring of 2024. To define targets for ground prospecting, the company is planning to utilize remote sensing spectral analysis and elevation surveying from satellite source data and is in discussion with Photosat of Vancouver, BC to undertake analysis of archived satellite data. The company also has a 100% interest in other mineral claims within Quebec and British Columbia, with exploration targeting critical and precious metals. The shares are currently trading at two cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, qmetalscorp.com, or contact Richard Penn, CEO at 778-384-8923. I'm Katrina Cotton for Investment Pitch Media.